Okay, YouTubers, this is Joe from Artenium TV. We're going to be looking at Soul 528 here from the Curiosity. Some great stuff in this image. We're going to go straight in it, what I think is the best and more in most interesting uh, anomaly here. If you look in the center of this image, there seems to be some kind of mechanical device. Um, there he is. Now, all I've done is increased a bit of contrast there and a bit of Gaussian blur on it, so I haven't added any effects or anything to that. I've just highlighted it a bit. You can see there's something interesting there. Um, there's also a skull uh, in the background there as well, near the centre of the image. Uh, we'll come to that in a minute. The mechanical device, to me, here's the raw image, nothing done to this whatsoever. You can actually see a, a crank handle um, coming out of it. There are cogs. There's uh, a kind of shaft. Um, it looks very much like a car jack. There's the the crank, um, the crank handle by the looks of it. Um, I've highlighted, highlighted that in blue to make it more obvious. There's the shaft. Now that looks very much like the sort of thing you put under your car to jack your car up. It looks like a sort of car jack. I mean, look at it. <laughs> what else could it well it may not be but it, it certainly looks like one now I've highlighted the different parts here different colors for you just to show the different what look like different components to the uh, to the device now there's the there's the car now there's another another crank sort of um, arm coming out of the left of the object there interesting very interesting uh, and there's another cog now May, may not be a cog, but it looks like a cog. It seems to have sort of teeth on it. Very, very interesting uh, mechanical thing here. Uh, it, I only found this recently. I have covered the the other, most of the other things in this video um, in other videos. That skull in the background there, I've just darkened that a bit and, and highlighted it for you to show the eye socket and uh, detail. Don't know what it is. Um, it's largely obscured by the rock in front, unfortunately. Here's another look at the the, um, the car jack, as I'm going to call it. Um, it really helps if you draw around some of these things and and and, uh, and and blur them up a little bit and up the contrast and stuff. This it really brings out some of the detail. And and to color them, all I do is use the color temperature. Um, there, there it is again, a bit further back. Zooming in too far doesn't help with any of this stuff, really. Most of it's blurred. Um, I mean, what the hell sort of camera is that on, on the on the Rover? <laughs> no, no wonder you Americans are getting a bit uh, peed off with it, you know. Just paying all that money and getting photographs like this back is an absolute joke. I, I would be um, taking them to court if it was if it was in the UK. I certainly would uh, form some sort of action group and... Um, take some legal action I mean they're, they're a government paid organization you guys really should be taking them on here you know you've you've, you've got the power people have the power here this is um, nothing too spectacular here this is obviously uh, a manufactured object it may be a rock it looks slightly metallic actually um, it's hard to say really everything's covered in that sort of that sort of dust anyway uh, it's hard to say with a lot of this stuff um, but it does show symmetry, the, the, the two parallel parts there. This may or may not be uh, an object of interest. It's a bit too small and a bit too far away, unfortunately, like many of the things on Mars. So you can tell a lot of these things are skulls, but they're too small. Um, unless they're a, a bit closer up to the camera or very large, you really don't get anywhere with them because um, the, the, the images are so poor. And this is one of the better ones, actually, of, of recent uh, sets of um, images. This looks a bit like a carved head of some sort. It, it, there's no nose and mouth on it. But um, it may be part of a statue. Like that. No, you can see it better now. I've highlighted it. There is an eye there near the centre of it. A very interesting shape. It looks manufactured to me. It's too a bit too perfect to be uh, just a random rock sitting in the dirt. Now, I don't know if you can make out this object, but you will in a minute when I highlight it. It looks to be part of an aeroplane or boat. I can't really work out which. Um, 
it's it's got some nice symmetry to the to the uh, shape. There are some strange things on it, which come out quite dark there, um, near to the left of the uh, object. But you can see that what the boat shape that I'm on about now looks like the, the back end of a boat or something, or part of a cockpit even. Uh, there we go. I, there, and I've drawn around it and highlighted that you should be able to make it out. Could be part of an aircraft. It looks quite similar to some of the things other people are finding at the moment. Um, which look like ancient aircraft of some sort. I found quite a few uh, aircraft parts and um, even a whole one recently. You might have seen that. Um, some of these aircraft are tiny. Uh, some of them are, are, are much bigger. Um, but that certainly looks manufactured. And when you highlight it, it looks very metallic as well. Um, it could have been there for thousands of years. It could be fairly recent. We don't know. Um, but it certainly doesn't look like a normal rock. Um, too much symmetry there. Um, this is a very, very clear uh, anomaly here. It is a fossilized dinosaur. Um, that's all I can say about it. You know, call it call it what it is. It's not just a rock that looks a bit like a dinosaur. This is a dinosaur fossil. Anyone who says otherwise hasn't done their research. Um, when you compare it to uh, some from Earth, it, the the similarities are absolutely uncanny. Here we go. I've done a, a split image here to show you the patchy cephalosaurus on, on the right, which is an illustration, and our dude on Mars on the left. Um, now look at the similarities. Look at the um, the shape of the skull, the the, the bulbous, in, you know, in, the elongated sort of uh, cranium there, which used used for head bussing. Um, these weren't enormous uh, dinosaurs, these ones. These were, these were fairly small as dinosaurs go. Vegetarian. Um, here's, a, here's another skull for you to to compare. I mean, could pay attention to the actual uh, spikes on the nose there. The um, arm, armour on the, on, the, uh, on the nose and compare it to, to this guy. There's another skull in the background. Um, don't know what it is. It's uh, not particularly far away but it's much smaller um, it's probably only about seven or nine inches long don't really know exactly but uh, it looks like a sort of dog or some sort of um, similar creature you can see the eye there in the center and the nose on the on the left it's certainly some sort of creature skull um, found loads like this this is one of probably hundreds of similar specimens um, can't really tell whether it's canine or not because the teeth aren't um, showing, unfortunately, buried, as many of them are. Now, I'll just have a quick look at the background here for you, just to show you what happens when you up the contrast. Many of these backgrounds uh, um, have, have been blurred out and uh, mucked around with by, uh, by NASA. Now, all I've done here is up the contrast and darkness by about seven or eight percent and out pops the green it's all over the place uh, on Mars um, maybe it's the time of the year up there where it, it gets greener uh, is this grass is it moss probably a bit of both uh, I have found some plants and uh, lots of petrified wood on Mars but no one's really interested in petrified wood they want to see aliens they want to see crashed aircraft and luckily we found a lot of them as well not just me of course um, there's boats there's aircraft there's um, even spaceships and uh, <laughs> some really crazy stuff lots and lots of animal specimens I mean you'd, you'd half expect to see Julie Andrews uh, skipping through the hills here singing the hills are alive with the sound of music I mean look at it um, uh, this isn't the greenest part I found there are some much greener parts all you got to do is up the contrast and, and uh, play with the brightness a bit and out, out it pops. Thank you for watching everybody. This has been Joe at Art Alien TV. Much more to come. Uh, I'm taking requests now. If any of you out there found anything really interesting in the Mars image that you want a video made of, give me a, a, a call. Contact me via my YouTube uh, or my website, marszoo.tv. I'll be willing to give it a go, if as long as it's reasonably big and clear enough to make a video from, I should do it. You'll get a full credit for that in the video, or underneath it, or both. 
Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you soon.